Okay. I think we're ready. Hi. Welcome to the stream early. Vinny, your streams are like a loot box. What, you never know when you're, when you're gonna get them? And what you're gonna get? Well, I'm here now. I'm here a little early. We're gonna just do some Mario. The Mario that almost happened last night, but didn't. And, uh, I have to... I have to be gone earlier tonight because I have... Well, I got a couple hours of Mario, but, you know. I have to be, um... I have to be at pizza with my friend Tyler and Mike. I'm sorry. We've got pizza. We I have to be at pizza. So this is a very important event in my life, as you know. So we'll do this. And, um... We'll do some Hand of Fate and whatever the fuck else soon. But, yeah, let's just collect some Power Moons and see how, how much more mileage the game can give us. <laughs> so, yeah, we were in the... the dark side. I want to tell you guys that there was a clown on, on that Orville show last night. This is probably the most important thing you'll hear from me. Hmm. It's a bit of a delay on the... On the volume, or on the sounds. We can fix this. Anyway, welcome to the stream. That's better. There we go. Now the dog is barking um, the, in the appropriate amount of pain at the right time. Vinny, what do you consider game of the year? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just got here. I, I just got to the stream and you're already asking me about game of the year. However, I think I have an answer. Find out on the next episode of Mario Odyssey. So I guess I have to just kind of recover a couple more. Um, we haven't been here in a while, right? Game of the year, cry of fear. Just remember it. Game of the year, cry of fear. Life of Pi time. The fucking Skyrim stream last night. I, I keep thinking about the glitches. They were like, you could probably take that stream. Let me lower this a little bit. Let me know if volume's okay. But you could probably take my Cry of Fear stream, uh, Cry of Fear, my Skyrim stream from last night, all one hour of it, and edit it down into like 10 minutes of just insanity. And that's just one hour of gameplay. Volume's good? Okay. I haven't heard the new King Gizzard album yet. I'm still, um, I I'm still kind of catching up on some of their other shit. But anyway. Before I go into detail about a thousand different things at once, I would like to first say, once again, welcome to the early stream. This is definitely, uh, earlier than usual for me. And, you know, again, I still haven't figured out if I'm gonna be starting any new major games. What are you doing? Oh. Okay. Fuck. But yeah, this is human time. And I'm gonna do some human time for a little bit because I'm not gonna be... I'm not gonna be around later. Um, one of the reasons... 
that, uh, you know, I want to be on now. Fucking Christ. One of the reasons I want to be on now is because, you know, most of my friends work and they can only hang out at a certain time. There we go. And usually I stream around the time that people want to hang out. Which leads to, you know, less hanging out. And I haven't really been up on that. So we're gonna... You know, I'm streaming early tonight so I can do that. Like I said, there is pizza waiting for me. It's very important. I need to eat... I need to eat four pizzas to the face tonight. You understand? Come on, motherfucker. I need my fuel for future streams. But I'll probably be around tomorrow as well. How many more streams of this game do you think you'll do? That's a good question too. I don't really know. It depends on how long it, it keeps my attention. I know there's a lot of like post-game challenges that I haven't seen yet. And I want to get to those. I want to be able to see most of the challenge rooms like these fucking chimneys. But I'm still enjoying it, and I know people, for the most part, said they were still enjoying this, so... Okay, what other things can we talk about? Let's talk about... Time to talk about Pepe. Pepe Sylvia. I want to talk to you about... Clowns. So this was in the episode of the Orville last night, and I want you to see... I want you to see this real quick. Just just for a second. I can't escape them. I try to watch my science fiction stupid show. And then there's a clown. A spooky clown. Hang on a second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. But, you know, just because I have, um, let's say, you know, an enthusiasm for clowns, that doesn't mean I need to see them in everything, in every fiction. You know, like, I'm here for, like, sci-fi. I don't want clowns. But at the very least, it was a good episode. Why you do? I think I have to light this on fire. Ooh. Ah. This is almost like a clown. This thing right here. It's colorful. The face is clown-like. Every fucking thing. Every fucking thing I do in my life is permeated with clown. Oh, that's cool. You hear that? Fire alarm. It's been doing that lately. It's a clown did not set fire to my house. God. I did not want to have to do that again. So, um, Jack and Rich from previously recorded 
didn't really love this game as much as um, most people do. They had some issues with, they said most of the uh, transformations from, you know, with Cappy were pretty boring. And they didn't like how the styles were all over the place. They, uh... <laughs> they do, they, they seem to do this a lot, don't they? It's not, I'm not really totally surprised that they would feel that way, but they claim that controls in a third-person platformer, not third-person, but like in a 3D platformer, are always trash. I'm paraphrasing, so you might want to watch their review, and I, I definitely appreciate their viewpoint. Even though I think it's 100% wrong, and I disagree. I think this game has great control, and I think, um... Navigating in a 3D space can be a little awkward in some games, but hat in time, I had no problem. Most of the time I fucked up in this game, it was my own fault. So. Is there jank in this? Oh yeah. Yeah, there's a little jank. I wouldn't say it's a perfect... Like, the, the controls are great. They definitely spent time, like, you know, getting them right. But is there jank? Yeah, there's jank. But I wouldn't say it. it I wouldn't say it fundamentally destroys the game. And they they claim to have liked the game. They they didn't say it was terrible. They said that they still enjoyed it very much, but that it's nowhere near like say sunshine. So, interesting perspective. Like, I'm, I'm willing to kind of see where some of the problems are, and I, I agree, some of the transformations aren't that great, but I would say most of them I enjoyed, and the little variety that you get from, like, the tank segments and Yoshi and all that stuff definitely adds to the overall feeling of the game instead of detracts. But some transformations are better than others. For sure. But I would still definitely put this up there in my, um... One of my favorite Mario games, you know, ever. Probably in, in my, um... To probably in my top five. At the moment. That, you know, that could change in like a year or two. I'll let you know. But the high from the game is still pretty, like, palatable, uh, palpable. So I'm still in Mario Odyssey land. We're still on the honeymoon phase. But we'll see. Um, that said, someone asked me earlier, Vinny, what's your game of the year? It's Breath of the Wild. Don't get me wrong, I love this game. But Breath of the Wild did more for me. PUBG. <laughs> I enjoyed PUBG. I have no problem with PUBG other than it's addictive and it makes me want to scream. But otherwise, I think PUBG is, um... It's, it's fun. And it kind of reinvigorated that genre for me a little bit. I came to this island to see the strange creature made of differently colored round sections. I'd love to have a close look at one. Oh. Well, you're in luck. You're in luck is when you have to pee and there's always a bathroom. It's one of those passives that you get when you, um, when you're first born. Like, you, you don't remember this. No one does. But when you, before you're born, you get to choose... Oh, I, I beans this. Before you're born, you get to choose a couple of, um, of, of stats. And urine luck is one of them. I'd say I probably had a little bit more fun playing this game. Like, there is definitely an unbridled sense of joy, but there's also 
a lot more to sink your teeth into. I know what I did. I, I was fine last time. I just, I fucked up this. Yeah. I have to get this fella down here. There we go. So yeah, I had a lot of fun playing this game, but I think Breath of the Wild kind of narrowly takes the spot for me. How was World War II? Call of Duty World War II? I didn't play the single player, but the multiplayer felt exactly the same as every other Call of Duty. And I know because V-Dub told me. Accidental rabbit death. I told you I don't like them video game rabbits. We, we've got our problems. I deserve that. So yeah, I guess after playing Odyssey, finishing it, getting almost 500 moons. I love this game. I had so much fun with it, and I'm still having fun with it post-game. I know there's still plenty more moons to get, which I won't be streaming myself getting all 900 moons, but I'm I'm very happy to just fuck around and just talk and play the game. But here's the thing, Breath of the Wild. This is a little bit more special for me. Speaking of Zelda, there was a great video that was released, I think today, it was the Game Maker Toolkit um, Boss Key series. Mark Brown uploaded a video of Zelda 1 and 2 dungeons. And how, you know, kind of lame some of the dungeon design is in Zelda 1. And believe it or not, a little bit better in Zelda 2. But, for different reasons. Anyway, I loved the um, Zelda series that he did, I would highly recommend it. Easily. One of my favorite series of YouTube videos um, in the gaming realm. And this one was good. And it made me want to replay Zelda 2. So maybe expect Zelda 2 randomized stream at some point. Because I've never done Zelda 2 randomized, and as much as I love Zelda 2, something tells me I'm going to hate the randomized version. So we got to find out. But yeah, I remember in Zelda 1, I had plenty of issues with Dungeon 7, and watching Mark Brown talk about how fucking cryptic it is and kind of bullshit was really kind of validating. I was like, oh right, yep, that was me as a kid. God damn it. Turn in your moons? Okay. Damn it. Vinny, does the stream take you out of your comfort zone? Uh, I've always been... I've always been a clown. I've been able to do shows. Like, rock shows. You know, on stage in front of people. This isn't so bad for me. And it... Even from the begin. Oh, come on! Even from the beginning this was still easier than doing a rock show on stage in front of people. And even that wasn't so bad for me. So no, I, w I wouldn't say that this has taken me out of my comfort zone. Wow. 
I mean, it's helped me get good at a number of things. And it's helped me develop a thicker skin. But, yeah. Whoa! How the fuck did I do this before? Do your famous trick. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. What else was I talking about? I was talking about, um, I was talking about the Game Maker's Toolkit, Zelda, Zelda 2. I want to stream Zelda 2 randomized. I've been thinking about it for a while. That was awkward. That, but that was also one of those rare instances of camera getting stuck behind a tree. If I got this one already, let's see. I, I wish Mario was just a little bit more inclined to grab ledges after that jump. Just a little bit more inclined. That, that would be so great. here is so different from anything I've seen before. What a trip we've been on. It seemed so many wondrous creatures. Picked up a power moon. Uh, someone said, wow, EA actually did something right. We're not going to go into full detail about EA again, because I already did last time I streamed. However, don't be fooled. Here's what's going to happen. They disabled their... You can't buy credits. You can only earn the characters and powers now, right? They said that they were going to do the paid experience system or whatever they're doing with the credits. They're going to do that again in time. They're going to adjust data, and then they're going to do it again. So it's not gone for good. It's going to be back. Here's what's going to happen. After Christmas... After Christmas, you're going to see the return of microtransactions. And babbies that didn't get the game when it first came out are going to end up making EA a fuckload of money around Christmas time. That's what's going to happen. And well beyond Christmas time. So it's gone for now because it was going to cut into their sales and because Disney probably said something about, you know, gambling. I'm just saying, it's not gone for good. I have decided that I am not purchasing the game and I'm going to stick with it and I want to see if their currency system includes pay to win. If it's only cosmetic, then I'll buy the game. So that means after Christmas or whenever they implement their, their bullshit again. I'm going to take a closer look at what they're doing. And if it's only a cosmetic change, then maybe I'll check it out. So that's kind of where I'm at. And I think that's a very, very, very good PR move. And if people go against them, they're going to say, well, we fixed it.
That's an outdated argument. We fixed it. Cosmetic gambling still blows you, dingus. You don't... You don't need cosmetic. I mean, it still sucks for people that have gambling addictions, but... It's... At least... I mean, it's at least... Five or six times better. Maybe even seven times better. Than paying for your character to be leveled up. And more powerful. I would prefer cosmetics over... You know, if they're gonna do it, at least do something I don't want. And don't need. So like if if I can um if I can just say opt out of buying Darth Vader with a white cloak, then I, I will do so. What about microtransaction in a free to play game? I don't know, I'm not really the arbiter of this kind of stuff. I don't... I don't know how I feel about that, because at least the game is free. It, it bothers me less, but I mean, I don't know, make up your own mind about it, really, because... I don't really play a lot of free-to-play games. And it also depends on how ab abusive of money the play-to-win system is. Or a pay-to-free-play game is. Like, if, if it's a matter of I have to buy my way into the game to get any, like, real stuff out of it, then, well, fuck that. Fire Emblem Heroes is pretty good about it. Yeah, I remember Fire Emblem Heroes. I played a little bit of it, and I enjoyed it, and I didn't feel like I had to cough up real money to get any enjoyment out of it. I was able to just play it and have fun. Oh, fuck, I see what I missed. I'm not supporting microtransactions. I think that should be very clear. I think it's bullshit. I think just make good games and sell them. But if we're talking about lesser of two evils and what I'm comfortable with. Like Titanfall 2, I really loved. And that was all cosmetic. And it was hidden a little bit, so you didn't have to... It wasn't rubbed in your face. And that was at least appreciated. And the DLC was free for that game, so... That was cool. Anyway. We talk about this a lot, and again, this is a big deal. This is gonna... What we talk about now, and how this thing with Battlefront 2 is handled, is gonna change the way... Oh, shit. <laughs> it's gonna change the way companies go forward with microtransactions. This is a big fucking deal. That's why I keep talking about it. It's like, how far can they get away with this? Well, we'll see. But at least Disney reached out, or, or I think CNN reached out to Disney or something like that happened, and then Disney reached out to EA and was like, Oh, you're doing gambling with kids. And then the next day there was a statement. So, that and their stock has dropped pretty, pretty heavily. Something like that. But I guess, really, it's, it, you know, whatever you feel, whatever you think. Those are just my thoughts. Ah. Uh, ah! Uh. Mayro, please. Mayro, please. Mayro, okay, good, good, good. Where'd 
Where are you going? Okay, I think I have to drop the tower that he goes to. Because he doesn't seem to go to the other one, so... Alright, one Mario is here. No, 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 but, 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 but why? But why? <laughs> why? Okay. So when people ask why Wario isn't called Wa Mario, you have your answer. Here he is. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I watch Vinesaw stream because I think he's really good at video games. I enjoy watching him succeed at video games, like, a lot. And he usually does. Like, he always really does, like, good things in those video games that he plays. Please purchase fireball protection. For 1300 Starbucks. Come on, no, you fuck. You fuck. You fuck. I feel so helpless without Cappy. <sighs> Stupid bird. Yeah, no shit. Try to get the second moon without capturing a fireball. All right. Can it be done? Where is it? Um, okay, it's not down this way. It's not over there. Uh, I would imagine it's over there. Oh, there's no way. Helix did it. Well, Helix is the one that told me to do it just now. It's behind the big pillar. So it's it's behind there. I guess you could probably do this with damage boosting. Oh. Oh, fuck that. No, 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 no. There's no way I'm going to do that. Even with all of my famous tricks, there's no way I can do that. Well. Yeah, because then you need to do like a wall jump to get up there because the, the fire doesn't boost Mario high enough. Long jump, toss cap, dive, repeat. Long jump, toss cap, dive, repeat. So you're talking about like right here. I did this, right? And then maybe that would have been it right there. I guess we'll never know. Maybe I could try spinning. You need a triple jump for that. Okay, I, that probably wasn't it then. Someone in chat, Vernon T. Co T. Koopa. Vernon T. Koopa says, I'm counting it. 
Listen, he's a Koopa. He is the arbiter of whether or not these things go. I'm inclined to believe Vernon T. Koopa. It counts. Now, which one was Vernon? I remember Ludwig, I remember Iggy, I remember S Squig, I remember, um, Stinky, I remember AIDS Koopa. There's a lot of Koopas. It's hard to keep track of. A lot of OCs that confuse the real ones, too. I don't, I'm not sure which one was an OC out of the ones I just listed. Slime Koopa. Slimy. I'm kind of surprised, like, the amount of OCs that Sonic has. You would expect more Koopa Kid OCs. Get ready for the most pitiful display of free running you've ever seen. I wasn't wrong. No, this one looks tough. I was able to do a couple of these fairly well with a little bit of practice. This one, this one appears kind of hard. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. I guess so. I'm sure there's some kind of like, finish this in 20 second cheese that exists. I'm gonna check the world record and it's gonna be... It's gonna be like 20 seconds, 15 seconds. Someone's probably got it done in 13 seconds. I think this is going to be my favorite thing to watch years from now. Watching the Koopa free running compilations are going to be... It's going to be good. It's going to be almost as good as watching the uh, Mario Maker levels that take the, the creator 20,000 times to complete. I beat Panuth <laughs> by a second, but fucking Desert. What the fuck, Desert? Please let it not be the darker side of the moon. Oh, God. God! I thought you guys were joking when you said it was the darker side. I was hoping for, like, Delfino, or maybe, like, one of the fucking galaxies from Mario Galaxy. No, another moon level. I am not frightened of dying. I think, well, are we ready for salt? Let's 
big party at least. Yeah, there's a lack of consistency in the Mario universe because... Like, these people shouldn't be able to breathe. Oh, well, obviously now I'm good. I've got a snorkel. Just remember, if you're on the moon and you're having trouble breathing, get a snorkel. Even Dory is up here. Oh wow, okay. Title drop. Oh, we do have extra lore. Bewildering building, so there's like the, the monolith on the dark side of the moon. There's a big conspiracy theory about like dome-like structures on the dark side of the moon, by the way, so be prepared. You know, one day the thing is gonna spin around and we're gonna see that it's flat. Oh wait, I'm confusing my conspiracy theories. Someone made a good point that conspiracy theories are a fast track to feeling superior than 99% of the human population. It's an interesting perspective on that. Um, this giant crater was formed by a huge meteor collision long ago. The impact destroyed the civilization that flourished on the moon. Which is how... Um... Culmina crater came to be. The crater itself is so massive you cannot see the bottom. Hello. Go Mario, jump man. You interrupted your singing for that. Oh my god. <laughs> More space frogs. So I think we're on the verge of, like, Champion's Road and, um, the perfect run, I think it was called, or whatever, which are two things that have death reels. So, in Galaxy 2 and Mario 3D World, there was, like, the final challenge, right? And they fucking sucked. This is that in this game, from what I understand. But yeah, there's death reels of me doing those, and it was heartbreaking, and utterly disgusting, some of the noises I was making. Let's see. So get your death counters ready. Where's the checkpoints? Wait, 
Please don't tell me they're like hidden moons. Okay. At least that's not death. Um, oh, there's a tomat over there too. Lava tomat. Barely. Still no checkpoint. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, I'm a little suspicious. What's over here? Long boy. Alright, alright, alright. Damage, a little damage, it's okay. Ooh, okay, oh, thank god they fell off. How lucky am I? Whoa! Okay. Come here, my Muppet friends. I don't know if I need the, the long boy anymore. I think I do, probably. I don't know. I don't know what just happened there. Why did you not push down? I don't know. I don't know why I didn't push down. God, I have a snorkel. Just breathe. Gosh, okay, okay, I don't need long boy anymore. Not when you got Yash. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't know what kind of jump Yoshi was gonna do off the wall, to be honest. I was like expecting a big, long, fucking crazy jump. That was just a horrendous misjudge 
of what Yoshi was capable of. It's a shame, because that was going really well, too. Well, almost really well. Fuck. in the beginning for more health. I'll consider that. Yeah, if I die again, I'm gonna go for that. It's not worth it. Alright, well, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Okay, back to the long boy. This time, I can definitely do this better. I just need to... Oh, you I just... I just need to not take damage from the fucking crust muppets that appear. I would say I should take my time, but... Even that could lead to damage. Let's see, here they are again, these fuckers. Time to talk to you about crust muppets. Mm. Okay. All right. I'll take the fall. I'll take the fall. I definitely have pirate cowboy outfit on my side this time. Well, how do you, how do you even fucking do this? Do I have to like make a Goomba tower? What? attempt. I want to see if it's actually worth my time, because this, um, this dude moves slow. Oh, this is like a full mini-boss. This isn't just like one, one hit and it's dead. I can see why people are saying it's not worth it. It's two hits, but it's a good, like, minute. It's a good minute or so. S Chef Mario 64. Anyway. This is the run. This is gonna be the run. I swear to God. <laughs> Don't make me eat my words, Mario, please. Thank <laughs> you. 
So good. Back to six. Um, let me see what that is like. Try to go over there. That looks a little bit more annoying than the way I was doing this. But got it. <laughs> Probably should slow down again. It, it's like, I don't know if I should go fast or I should slow the fuck down sometimes here. And then this, that happens a lot. That sucks. You, you just can't, you just can't do the thing. There we go. I don't know why I didn't press down before, it just didn't occur to me. Were we good? <laughs> I tried. I got impatient. There's no hearts around here, right? Okay, so Yoshi kind of just jumps straight across. There's, there's... There's no jump here. Really. Fucking Yoshi. Very upset with you, Yoshi. Music. It's just what I need. Oh, you again. Greetings, traveler, and to your hat as well, can you answer my riddle? What is the only kingdom that I, the great Sphinx, have not visited? You were not at the Mushroom Kingdom. Dear, give, dear ye giver of the correct answers, take this with you. Oh, thanks, dude. Nice riddle. I don't think the Sphinx knows what the fuck the word riddle means. <laughs> but I'll, I'll take it. Oh, 
there's more. I don't know if I can go back now. Oh, you guys. It's real. Some people are saying it's real, you have to die or something. I don't wanna, whatever. Uh, bye, Yoshi. <laughs> this part kind of blows. Squan dog. Suddenly now I can't do this. I just fucking had this. Praise be. Praise be. Praise be. There was like, um, yeah, yeah, there was, there was like nerves getting involved there too. Fucking hell. This is the one. And no, I'm not gonna get the heart, because I can get the heart from the Sphinx. I just need to, you know, not suck. See? Look at that. <laughs> Look at that save! Almost the one. You know, I'm gonna go back and get that health, I think. Impatience. Impatience will take health away. Mario Wiseau tries his best, but continues failing. What do you mean, Mark? I got a fucking tomato chasing me now. It's just like the sunshine stream. Endless Tommy Wiseau impressions. Pirate Mario 64. Here we go. I feel good about this one. 
because the pirate outfit almost looks like vampire outfit. God. I still wouldn't say that this is as difficult as, uh, as Champion's Road. Why are we doing this, Mario? Didn't we just establish that you need to wall jump from left to right? And you need to swing your arms from side to side? Okay. All right. Let me apply the skill that I learned the first time I did this. See, it's just there's less at stake if you're doing it for like the sixth time than the first time because you want to get it the first time when you try for the first time. You're like, oh man, if I do this in one try, they'll finally think I'm cool. Finally. And then you think to yourself, wait, I don't care about that. do this without this transformation. I'm not about to risk it, but I... I believe that it can be done. For sure. But just the appropriate jumps. These are not the appropriate jumps, by the way. You see that? That was far from the appropriate jump. That's my least favorite part. That's my least favorite part right there. Definitely my least favorite part. So here we need patience. There's a heart on second to last platform. Good. Okay, so now I just need to not take any damage here. Which I think can be done. <laughs> I don't know. If I can get to the Sphinx, then I'll be I'll be good. fucking sphinx. Don't you dare. Don't you dare go off and make beams. Okay, good, good, good. Yes! Torture. 
That's not how you do this. Scree! Just gotta take it easy. Try to avoid the fucking mosquitoes. We don't have mosquitoes that look like that in real life. Oh, forks. Fork this. Checkpoint. <laughs> right, they set themselves off and it becomes a perpetual pain device. Right. out of here. Get the fuck out of here. My hands are so sweaty. I need a, I need a second. Are you kidding me? Heck. I was just trying to hold it so that I would be in prime pecking position. I just wanted to get into the proper peck position. And then I let go because I wanted to stop holding the peck and then it just released me. Fuck.
heartbreaking. Apparently the Sphinx has more questions. It's not like I didn't expect this. As soon as I learned that there was a level like Champion's Road, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm done. Okay. Well, at least, at least I made it through there without any damage. But yeah, that also means I have to do that, that one section again. The, the fucking torturous one. Without, without Cappy. Hey, that works. So you learn to take more risks, I guess, when you get impatient. Bad risks. Wouldn't recommend that risk. <laughs> I bet there's a lot more too. I would like I wonder how far I got through. I'm not gonna look at the chat. I don't wanna find out, but I wanna keep thinking that I'm really close to finishing it, uh the level. Every every time I get like a slight bit closer. In my mind, the end of the level was right there. No more questions. Alright, and whatever. <laughs> whatever. No, 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 Yoshi, you're, you're, sorry. Yoshi abuse. I figured that part out. Fucking Volbono fork things aren't exactly the easiest thing in the world either. Like, I could easily fuck this up. I'm trying to keep it. I'm trying to keep it kind of. chill here. You know what I mean? Keep it chill. Alright.
Oh boy. You don't need that one. You can just peck into the rock. Really? What happens when you shake the controller with peck? Do you get a higher jump? do. Right. It's funny because I actually ended up getting it before I ended up getting that, that really insane one. But yeah. So much fun. So much fun. Part of the, the challenge is not having a checkpoint of these champion road fucking challenges in this game. Really just brutal, but yeah, got to do it. Cuz if there is a checkpoint, then you know, you would just learn and get lucky and then then you're done. This game wants you to suffer. It wants you to peck. I think I can... I can do the bird segment a little bit better. I'm still gonna get fucking onion. Because I really, really, really don't think I can do it without onion. At my current skill level. But it, it's definitely doable. I see how it could be. I see how it can be done. cold water. It wasn't as perilous as I thought it was originally. This one, stay there. This one you go here. You can actually kind of get that down to a science a little bit. Just another heart. This 
science, that's right. Hey Vsauce, Vinny here. I'm here to tell you about the science of avoiding filth bag dirt things in Mario game. I know they have a name, was it Scuzzy? Touch Scuzzy, get dizzy. Touch Scuzzy, get dirty. Touch scummy, get dirty. Alright. Okay. So that's a re recoverable mistake. I'm aware of the cheese here now. Where you can get more height. Where you just shake the controller and you get height. But I haven't had any issues without doing that. So... I'd rather just kind of take it slow and steady. Okay, forks. Forks. Kinda wish I had that extra heart. But... This part sucks. I mean, I've been able to do this part but it still sucks. Look at that. Already, already bean. Already bean. Ready-made beans. all that beautiful extra health gone all right here it is the burb the burb this represents like seven minutes of gameplay I think I had a couple heart attacks there, guys. It's a couple heart attacks in a row. Couple heart attacks. Oh no. Oh, we're gonna play Stanky Kong, but this time with. Oh, I can at least change the camera. That's good. Now what? Fucking now what? A Bowser thing? Ba 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 cock. Just... 
fucking stop that with the balls for one second. Okay. Okay, now what? Now what? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Thank. Oh, I think I did it. I think it's over. Thank you. <laughs> okay, you're welcome. Fuck you for no checkpoints, Nintendo. Seriously. And what's this? Okay. You're a winner. Thank uh, you uh, so much uh, for uh, playing uh, my game. Uh. What did it say at the end of the Ghostbusters NES game? Congratulations. Coin physics. Thinking about him. Thanks, Frog. You you were my first capture and now you're my last capture. It just died. Do you hear that poof? America Mario wins. It was, Cappy. Uh -huh. That's gonna lead to some severe chafing. Visibility hat. I don't want this shit. How many deaths was it? Seven? Someone said seven. That's it. Seven. Not too bad.
Lucky 7, Terminal 7. <laughs> They're like, what? But how does something invisible have a shadow? So I just spent like, what, 45 minutes of my life getting three moons? Worth it. It's just for that. That's, that's it. Just that. All right, when do I unlock the darkest side of the moon? You want me to talk to her while I'm invisible? That's it. The same message as before, and somehow she knew who I was despite being invisible. Pauline is a warlock. I'm- yeah, that was great. That was definitely a little easier than Champion's Road, but I still really fucking enjoyed that. Enjoyed in the most frustrating way imaginable, but still enjoyed. Play more Skyrim. <laughs> no, I'm good, I'm good. I can only handle so many glitches a week. And we already did Corruptions. Speaking of Corruptions, Erkluzar released 3.10 version of the new Corruptor, and it is wonderful. The uh, fucking changes and the improvements and upgrades are very well um, placed and extremely welcomed. And I have to say, I want to thank Phil slash Erkluzar for keeping Corruptions alive. I mean, there's a lot of people that help him. Um, there's a lot of people that have been, like, since the beginning, making corruptions m easier, more possible, uh, better. And Irkluzar is the number one figure in the corruption scene. And he is the best. And he's extremely helpful at all times. So, I want to just point out, I'm excited to check out 3.10 eventually. Vinny, it's actually Luigi that's invisible. You can't see him. Didn't Nintendo answer a question during a Q&A saying like, so what's the deal with, um, with Luigi? And the answer was, we hope you will look forward to learning more about Luigi at a future time. And that was their answer. Good answer. Good non-answer. You never know. I mean, if, you know, if there is a Luigi DLC with, like, another couple worlds, that would be... that would be just fine. That would be just fine.
Good. <laughs> very, very nice. I didn't even get all the fucking coins. Fish are here. Oh, there's a Lakitu somewhere. I hope this Lakitu isn't slackatooing. It's an old joke. Very old. Only Lakitu can fish in poison. I got them. I got all the coins. You know, comparing something like this to Skyrim and how glitchy Skyrim is, I haven't obviously seen as nearly as many glitches in Mario Odyssey. But this game has some pretty fucking intense glitches too. There's the T-Pose glitch, there's a glitch where Mario's frozen in time. trouble fishing. But at least the purple drink looks really good. You want this. Wow, I can't fish! It's worse than my fucking Stardew Valley streams. And it wasn't- it wasn't even a moon. Lakitu's had an easy life since the camera gig in Mario 64. He's kind of given up being an asshole to Mario. You know... He's retired. aren't moons. He still picks people up in Mario Kart. Oh yeah, I guess that's kind of a side gig. He also runs a sex hotel where you can rent rooms for one hour. I wasn't supposed to tell you guys about that, though. He, you know, he's trying to compete with Hotel Mario. But his, his rates are, are especially good for one hour. There's the big one. You. Ew. 
It all makes sense. Since I put on the Luigi outfit, everything went wrong. over here, I think. I've not done a lot on this world. That's why I'm saying, like, I think there's still some more streams left of Mario Odyssey. Maybe even if it's only... <laughs> Maybe if it's only, like, one or two. There's still a couple worlds I haven't revisited. Um, I haven't done some of the challenge areas. I want to, like, at least do all the... Um, the moon pipe challenges. If you know what I mean. Moon pipe? We're almost, I mean, we're getting closer to the skeleton. Best music. Worst gameplay. This is a good place for farming coins. Well, first I need to be able to play the game. But once I figure out how to play the game, I can get plenty of coins, yeah. Well, you know what it was? I wanted to go back for the coins. not as heartbreaking as that first peck up during the bird section. Guess we'll try again. See, when you say don't move, you mean like don't move at all. Just use Cappy to get the fucking things, okay? Uh, okay. Okay. What is this like? How many coins would you say I got? So let's see, I went from... I don't know what I had before I went in here, but... 8,042. I'm gonna do that one more time. And we'll, we'll see exactly how many coins you get. You get 180 or 120? 180. Let's do it one more time. Ever, we, we inch closer. To death. Every minute is just another inch 
closer. Whatever. The skeleton outfit. Well, shit. It would have been 180. Do you think Cappy is, like, lead-lined? Like, I'm just wondering how Cappy hurts enemies. I, w I wonder if there's, like, some kind of metal. Kind of like that Mortal Kombat character that I always forget. Lo- Lo Pang? Lo Main. That character. What was the character's name that throws the hat? I feel like I have to ask this every time. Kung Lao. Kung Lao, right? Or is it Kung Pao? But why are people in chat saying Kung Pao? I always get him and Liu Kang confused. Oh, that reminds me too. They were talking about on NBC. They interviewed a Julian Egerbeck from Factor Five. And one of the worst ports of all time, I think, was Mortal Kombat 3 to the Game Boy, or something? Anyway, they were talking about, um, the Lost Rogue Squadron game. I can do that better. So there was a Wii Rogue Squadron game that was supposed to come out. And there was some bullshit. And they're potentially looking into ways that they could bring the game out on the Switch. And apparently it was the best Rogue Squadron game yet. And they really put a lot of work into it. And it had like the best of from all the games. Plus a bunch of new shit. And that made me really sad because Factor 5 was awesome and Rogue Squadron were like some of my favorite Some of my favorite games Come on spin Ah! Uh, is there like a guaranteed way to get the spin? Because it seems like I can only do it. Oh, okay. I don't know. I, I have to actually start the spin first. So I've been hitting it too early. I've been hitting the button too early. I get it. If you throw your hat too early during the spin cycle, then it won't do the, um, it won't do the twirl. Or rather, you know what I mean, if you do it too early, eat it, eat it, eat the hat. Eat it. But yes, apparently this, this Rogue Squadron game was really good, and he was really proud of it. And a lot of people, after the debacle of working on this game and finishing the game, and then it getting cancelled, apparently this whole debacle 
some of the, the people from Factor 5. Uh, ended up stop they just left the video game industry like they stopped working on video games because it was so painful and for a long time um even the julian guy who led factor 5 i think was like i don't even want to look at video games i didn't want to work on them it's pretty fucking disappointing I would love if that came out, and if in some form or another, we finally got the Wii Rogue Squadron game. Sure would be a shame if that ROM leaked. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, apparently they still have it, and they, they can play it on their Wii dev kit. And it supported all controller types, too. It wasn't just motion controls. You could play it however you wanted. GameCube controller. Pro controller, whatever. Well, that's a lot easier. And visually, they said it was amazing. Like, some of the lighting effects like, are as good as some of the shit that you see in video games these days. And the original Rogue Squadron was probably one of the best looking games on the GameCube, and it was a launch title. Usually, a system gets better as it goes along, and developers figure out how to, like, utilize all the tricks of the system. I feel like Factor 5 were pretty much geniuses, and were able to... were able to, um get the most out of the GameCube right out the gate. Rogue... Well, I mean, the first one is in Rogue Leader. The first GameCube one. There was also... What was it? Rogue... Rebel Strike? The, um, the one that came out after that, which wasn't as good. I'm talking about Star Wars. Yeah, I'm not talking about Mario. I'm just, um, just spitballing. So there is some hope that maybe they could re resolve the licensing issues and get this thing out. And that would be amazing. Or even if they would do, like, a Rebel Strike Rogue Squadron tie-in, like, virtual console thing or whatever. That would be just as cool. That's a series that didn't deserve to just fade out of existence. That was the best space combat outside of Star Fox 64 that I've ever played. Congratulations, you did it. 
Can we talk about, without spoilers, the w best and worst video game endings of all time? Because most NES games had pretty pitiful endings, where it was just like, congratulations, you win. But how about, like, modern games? Cube? That's a movie. Ride to Hell Retribution. Halo. I see a lot of Halo games in chat. It was all just a dream. Warcraft 3 had a good ending. I agree. Mass Effect 3 had a bad one, apparently. Um, Lemmings for the NES. No shit. That was bad. Bioshock was a good one. Space! Uh, that's one of the top five. Final Fantasy 8, both. Yeah, I think I agree with that. Final Fantasy 8's ending was so fucking weird. It was both amazing and confusing, and I didn't feel like I got what I wanted out of it. But maybe I got more than I wanted? I don't know, it's kind of hard to say. I, I still couldn't tell you what the fuck happened at the end of that game. And I've read, like, an anal cyst and everything. Metal Gear Solid 5 is bad. Yeah, I didn't really care for the ending of that. It wasn't complete. This game had a good ending. I was walking along these rooftops for so long I got lost. Thanks, Captain. Cry of Fear. Yeah. Yep. Yep. The Flash game, The Room, had a good ending? Yes, it did. It explains so much. It actually, like, deepened the lore of The Room movie. That was like a, a transformative work. For both The Room and for video games as a whole. When I say a whole, I mean like an asshole. Was this Bugs Bunny birthday blowout? More like Bugs Bunny blowed out your ass! I just think I have to use the bird for this. But just not fuck it up. What's my favorite video game ending? I am God, come on, you know! I like the Metal Gear Solid ending. Because it was kind of ambiguous, and then they, you know, Hal and David, all that. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything. But I remember that, really, that was one that I really liked. Castlevania Symphony of the Night, as soon as that music starts up, I am the wind, or whatever the fuck that was. I was like, oh, this is, this is un... unparalleled. 
in the world of video game endings. But no, I, I guess, yeah, Metal Gear Solid, I liked the um, Ocarina of Time ending. Because it was just, like, every character, every everything, there's lots of dancing. Thing. I'm sure you remember the dancing. Some were spinning, some were growing to the size of giants. Final Fantasy VII had one of those endings that also... I thought was better when I was a kid, and then when I played it again, I was kind of, like, disappointed. It was still good, but it wasn't... It wasn't what I thought it was. It was like, 500 years later, here's a thing that happens. But you know, there was- there was a full motion video, and you got to see Tifa's boobies jiggling. So that probably made it better for a lot of people, myself included, when I was a kid. And then you- you look at it later, it's like, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. How about, uh, Chrono Trigger? And any number of its, like, 13 or 14 endings. Some of those endings are pretty cool. You wanna see a bird. Earthbound's ending was good. Appropriate, touching, all that. But yeah, anything, it's all just a dream. It's, it's just like, come on, really? But, you know, the best endings of all time are the ones that just say, you're a winner. And that's it. But we all knew that. Just a quick message, you're a winner. You win. You won. Game over. Thank you. And that's it. Oh yeah, Mario 2's ending. Well, the reason why the Mario 2 ending, spoilers, it was all just a dream. The reason why that worked... That, I feel okay spoiling, because the whole game is predicated on the idea of this world being a dream. Which is why the gameplay is different. It's why the, um... The world is, like, weird. And definitely not Doki Doki Panic. Totally original concept. Probably could have done a jump off the glass. Whoops. Sometimes a simple, satisfactory ending can go a long way. Oh yeah, totally. No, I agree. I'm okay with the game just saying, you did it. As long as the ending was, like, well-earned and there was plenty to do. And... Even if it's just, like, Link finally waking Zelda up. 
after her long slumber. Like, there's not much to that ending. But the curtain closes, you know, maybe they smooch, I don't know. And that's it. It's over. But you feel so accomplished that you saved Hyrule and Zelda. Because right from the beginning of the game in Zelda 2. And Zelda 2 gets a lot of shit, and some of it very deserving. But I think it also is... It's a game that doesn't get enough credit for what it does right. You start the game, and right there is Zelda. She's sleeping. She can't wake up. The story goes, Ganon put her under a spell or something. Whatever it is. So you, you kind of have this connection with the character right from the beginning because you, you see her every time you start. Every time you play the game, you have to see her again. She's just there in the palace. I remember as a kid, I was like, wow, that sucks. How do I wake her? And then by the end of the game, you do. And it's, again, not much of an ending. It's really simple. I can't believe I've done this again. I've officially died on this two more times than I did the Pachinko level in Mario Sunshine. It's down here anyway. Vinny, are you streaming Pokemon Ultra? I've been getting this question a lot and the answer is no. Again, if you want to watch my Pokemon Moon stream, it's like 40-something hours of Pokemon gameplay. And it was fun, but I am fucking Pokemon out. How do you break bricks? Brown bricks as uh, dry bones. Someone said you could do it. Oh, I guess you have to go from the bottom. So yeah, I'm not doing any more Pokemon until the Switch version, whenever that may be. I was never the biggest Pokemon fan. Like, the only games I've played in the series all the way through were Red. I never even finished Red, never mind. Um, X, Pokemon X, and Pokemon Moon. Like, I like the series, I enjoy it, but I missed out on so many of the games. And I definitely didn't put my time in. I missed the key. Didn't I get the second moon there? See? It's gone. I got the second moon from the key. On a previous life. So even though I have mentioned, I think um, Breath of the Wild is my game of the year so far, and it's probably going to stay that way, this game was great, 
and it continues to it continues to amaze me like just today all the stuff that we did today there was so much good stuff in there it has been a good year for Nintendo games specifically Zelda and Mario and Metroid Returns was a lot of fun too but it's not often that you get not only good versions of the Zelda and Mario franchise but actually like games that do something a little bit different with the formula. Obviously, Zelda did more with the formula than this. That was more of an evolution. This was more like, as I've said many times, this is more like the perfection of the Mario 64 formula with a bunch of new shit. But it's definitely a hard choice, and I think a lot of people are going to choose which game is their favorite based on which franchise they like better between the two. I mean, there's plenty of other great shit that came out this year, but between these two games, I would argue that they're pretty fucking close in, in terms of quality. But Zelda did a little bit more, and um, I think the Mario series wasn't as stale as Zelda was getting. People give shit to 3D World, and I, I've given it some shit as well. Some of it do, some of it undo. still feel like by the time we got to Skyward Sword it was like okay we're ready can we can we do something a little different Mario still felt pretty good by the time we got to 3D World and even that was only the second iteration of the World series like we went from land to world so it still felt kind of fresh but none of these games were ever going to be as good as Mario's early years That game is super! Sorry, bird. All right, um, I think that's about it for now. I gotta get going. I have to, uh, like I said, there's there's pizza with my name on it, and I need to I need to get on that like, soon. So uh, we'll just deposit <laughs> we'll deposit some moons. Like I said, there's still some more to do that I I feel would be worth streaming, but we're definitely winding down on the Mario Odyssey streams. Definitely got to get that skeleton. Definitely got to check out some of the shop stuff. There's plenty of things that I want to do, but I don't know if it'll last more than two streams. So. But yeah, I'll be around tomorrow and uh, we'll do some more stuff. And uh, thanks for watching me suffer my way through Fake Champions Road. Vinny, will you play Link's Awakening this year? Soon. If not this year, then early next year for sure. Okay, let's take a look at the art. There is another good clown clip of the Orville that I cannot find at the moment, and I'm really upset about that. Hang on a minute. Let's see if I can find it. Um. Um. 
Nope. Can't find it. All right. Never mind. One day I'll find it. The character Bordis looks for the clown so he can beat the clown, you know, senseless. And he goes, clown. Anyway, that's it. So never mind. You got the clip. You got the gist of it. Cool. All right. Here's the art. This one's from Mechamark. Is this Diamond Dogs, David Bowie, Mario? <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. Wow, that's unbelievable. From Blair, I love it. Patron Saint Bordis, bless us. Uh, this one's from Blair Chan. And here's of, of Linny. It's cool. From Luke Vine, here's Jabroni Man. We've had a lot of potential arms versions of me, and Jabroni Man happens to be one of them. From Hedge, here's just all them, st them memes. I was going to say stanky, but some of them aren't too stank. Some of them are just kind of standard. But, uh, here they are. Here they are. Just in case you wanted them. In one place. This one's from Tortolua. At least buy me dinner first. <laughs> oh, oh. Who's Marioing me? This one's from Primal Screen Guy. And again, we continue... To get one of each logo in existence. From Starry, here's V Dub. There's Vlinny, or Vinny, and there's Vlinny. Amazing. There's three people in my head. I don't know which one I should choose. This one's from Ayana the Dork. This is me figuring out which one to choose. This one's from Professor Prof <laughs> Professor Yushington. I was anticipating the yush, and it turned professor into a bad word. Profresh. But uh, then you have um, someone wanted a Professor Farnsworth impression. Good news! I guess that's about it. That's that's my impression. All right. It's from Fubuk Fubukizuhiru, I think. Purple drank. Take a sip, babes. There it is. Purple drink. This one's from Lemon Line. This is me after a particularly rousing jape. So when the japes are at their highest, this is what I look like. Thank you for the accuracy. Uh, from Orosaurus <laughs> X. Here's the bird... The bird fella. And that's it. That's the art. So thanks for thanks for drawing, everybody. Like I said, I won't be around tonight, but I'll see you tomorrow with some more streaming. I'll see you for sure on Monday with um It's looking like Sonic and Knuckles part two will happen on Monday. It, it's seeming pretty damn likely. So I hope I hope you'll look forward to that. And I guess that's about it. So, have a good night. Enjoy your life if you can. Please try to. It's short. And if you want more streaming, check out twitch.tv slash vinesauce or vinesauce.com. Definitely want to check out some of the streamers on the Vinesauce team. You might enjoy them. Or you can check out some of my mods. You can wait for my auto host. Uh... Potato is live, and my mod Jeff Vigibum is live. So if you're looking for similar styles of streaming, then you might find them there. And um, throw them a like, throw them a bit of support, whatever. Whatever you want to do. And that's it. So have a good...